MailChimp segmentation is a powerful tool that helps you filter out similar audience data, such as e-commerce activity, group preferences, and other information. So today's video, we'll be taking a look at a complex and simple segmentation. So let's get started. Using segmentation helps you view your contacts with those segments or that filter, and it helps you, more importantly, to send specific emails to those people who match that criteria, that filter. I've logged into my MailChimp test account. The easiest way to create a segment is from your audience dashboard or the audience navigation here on the left and go down to segments. Click on segments and I have no segments saved. So let's first create a simple segment. As we create our simple segment, let me just go over what you're seeing here. So you have contacts match any, and if I click that drop down, all. So the any means or. It can match this or this if you have more than one filter. The all means and. So make this filter and this filter. So be careful when you select the condition here, the any or the all. For a simple segment, we can use what is displayed here that MailChimp provided us. But let's take a look at the other options. We have date, email address, we have email marketing, engagement, language, last name, uh, date added, sign up source, automation activity, postcard activity, all sorts of wonderful things that you can do with your segmentation. How do you filter out your audience to communicate directly to that segment, to that filter? So let's do first name. And you have options for the operator here. Is, is not, contains, does not contain, is greater than, is less than, is blank, is not blank. So for instance, if it is blank, I could send a link to the preferences setter to those contacts with a blank first name to say, hey, please add your first name to your information on our contact list, something like that. But we'll stick with is and we'll choose Larry and click on preview segment. All right, so we have me here. I'm the only one with the first name of Larry. So we can save our segment. You wanna be descriptive here. So we'll say first name is Larry. You can see I did Lawrence there save so now the important piece here we've got our segment we've got our filter of people who have the first name of larry we can then send a campaign so we click the drop down send campaign we have the option of email campaign and postcard i'm on a free account those are the options that you have if i have a paid account i'd have facebook instagram ad and facebook instagram ad to similar contacts so let's click on email campaign. So it matches one recipient. Here is our segment. First is Larry, should be first name, but we can edit that later. We can go in and edit our recipients. So if we wanted to change our segment or, or we could do a tag instead, but this is all about segments, which we'll stick with segments. We can personalize the to field and we'll be F name and click save. From here, you do your usual thing. You say, who is it from, the subject name, and obviously design the email. Let's go back to segments and create a complex segment. Go to audience, segments. Here's our first is Larry. Click on create segment again. Right, so let's do, scroll up to tags. And if a contact is tagged with, click on the drop down. I have lots of testing tags here. Let's do ebook and let's add that the date is after the last campaign was sent. So this would be more complex. And don't forget your operator here is or. If I switched to all, it would be and. So it has to match that the ebook is the tag and the date the last campaign was sent was August 9th, 2021. So let's click on preview segment. We have 28 contacts that match this condition. Again, we'll save this segment and we'll call this ebook after 8921 and click save. We now have the segment and then we can do the same thing again. Send them an email or send them a postcard on a free account. So that's how you use segments. We've created a simple and a complex one. You can do up to five of those conditions which is fantastic. Probably five is probably a bit too much because you get down into the weeds. Maybe you want to do that. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about MailChimp, you can click on the next video or click on a link down in the description. Take care.